Ladies and gentlemen, Mickey Mouse is now in the public domain, meaning that Mickey Mouse is ours now. And I want you guys to guess, what exactly are we doing now that we could make Mickey Mouse, the Steamboat Willy version of Mickey Mouse, into anything that we want him to be? We're turning him into bad horror movies in which he's a killer. Oh, but not just horror movies, we're also putting him into bad video games in where, guess what, he's also a killer. Keep in mind the only version of Mickey Mouse that's currently public domain is the original Steamboat Willie version of him, which came out in 1928. Yeah, you know, the black and white version where he whistles and he's innocent and he's all cutesy. It's a charming cartoon that put Disney on the map. There's a lot of issues here, guys. Remember that stupid creepy pasta made in like 2010, 2011, where it's like creepy Mickey Mouse? But that creepy pasta was a black and white cartoon that was supposedly lost by Disney. It's a looped animation of Mickey Mouse walking over and over again with a couple buildings behind him. Suddenly the video cuts to black and then it returns and then there's just loud screaming while Mickey Mouse is doing some funny dance moves. See, if you're 12 years old and in middle school, this is like the scariest thing in the world. It supposedly came out in the 1930s, with the backdrop of the Great Depression happening in the background. I guess the lore here is, trust me, I know it's fake, but I'm playing into it. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, by the way, it helps a lot. They made this because the Great Depression sucked so much, so time to make a cartoon about Mickey unaliving himself. Listen, when it comes to media surrounding Mickey Mouse going creepy, it's already been done before by the Disney company themselves. Meet Floyd Gottfredson an American cartoonist during the 1930s who worked on the official Mickey Mouse comic strip. During the 1930s, Walt Disney himself coined the idea to gut Fredson of a comic strip series of Mickey trying to unalive himself. Mickey chooses to do this as he is so heartbroken about Minnie Mouse choosing another rodent instead of him. Through various methods, Mickey attempts to take his own life. It's kind of crazy. In one of the comic strips, Mickey has a shotgun pointed at him, and the comic reads, It's no use. Since Minnie's falling for that slicker, I'm lost. I'm like a ship without a sail. So I might as well drift into the hereafter. Goodbye, Minnie. Goodbye, Cruel World. One, two, and then the clock goes off. There's another cartoon where Mickey tries to jump off a bridge, but lands on a boat instead hitting his head. Another one where he tries to hang himself by using a tree. This is all very official, by the way. Eventually, Mickey doesn't actually go through with it because he meets up with a bunch of squirrels, which makes him decide to start living again and become bros with the squirrels. Okay, that's kind of based. That's kind of sick. I think that's a really cool way to turn Mickey into a somewhat dark type of character, but also keep him as charming. But of course, because of time, people have forgotten about this comic strip and eventually it has become cool to try and make Mickey edgy. And it's not without a hint of creepiness, it's fully trying to make an innocent character all out a murderer. Or to make him some random AI image to be bought with with Ethereum. So first things first, you have this new horror movie coming out called Mousetrap, and it is just pure unfiltered slop. So a bunch of random 20 year olds are all hanging out at this Dave and Buster's, all to visit their friend who's trapped working on their birthday. Then all of a sudden, oh my god, a guy wearing a Mickey Mouse mask comes in to try and kill them. And let me just say this, the acting for this film, oh, holy shit, it's already super bad. Like if he was in a horror movie, you'd never say, I'll be right back. Because then you don't. Where the hell did he go? Yeah, that was super creepy, guys. Just look how he leans over and stares at you. Ooh, that's so crazy. So Disney, throughout all their faults, they have actually tried really hard to make sure that Mickey Mouse, or at least a steamboat version of Mickey Mouse, did not release to the public domain to avoid slop like this. They actually already did this last year with Winnie the Pooh once he became public domain. I mean, in that movie, you try and make it as edgy as possible by having Winnie the Pooh and Piglet eat Eeyore. You have Winnie the Pooh ripping off a woman's top only to feed her into a wood chipper in one of the most gruesome scenes you've ever seen. This wouldn't be interesting otherwise. You would have likely ignored this movie in its entirety if it wasn't for the fact that it was Winnie the Pooh doing this. And everyone loves Winnie the Pooh. He's so friendly. But no, not this time. He's evil. He's a murderer. A side note about this film that you should absolutely know is that this horror movie was actually shown to random kids at an elementary school, traumatizing them. Yeah, the teacher just put on the movie and instead of stopping it at the beginning scene, which is very gory by the way, he decided not to stop the movie even though the kids kept saying, please stop the movie, we don't want to watch this. That's the actual quote. Even the director of the movie came at the children's defense 
stating this, because when you watch the film, there is no way you can mistake it for a child's film. Literally in the first 10 minutes, crazy stuff's happening, and the characters look scary, so I don't know how, because they said it went on for 20 to 30 minutes. I don't know how it went on that long. I don't know if the teacher put it on and just walked out and left them or the kids tricked them or something. Hopefully we haven't ruined these kids' childhoods. I mean, you probably already did, because at the end of the day, you just made a bad movie. It's the morbid curiosity of turning these, these nice characters into gory murderers that makes it so directors keep pumping out trash after trash. The budget for the Winnie the Pooh movie was 100k, and the box office was 5.2 million dollars. These movies have opened Pandora's box. Characters that have already been public domain for many years are getting their own horror movies. We have an upcoming Bambi movie called Bambi the Reckoning. Oh, Bambi's gonna go ahead and get revenge for the death of her mother. Okay, it's probably gonna suck, but okay. No, but you don't understand. We have to see Peter Pan's Neverland Nightmare in 2024. A reimagining of the classic story everyone loves. You know what would be cool? If we got a Mickey Mouse video game mimicking the Steamboat Willie style, similar to that of Cuphead. I think it would also be funny to keep with the original character of Mickey Mouse. For the 40th anniversary of Mickey Mouse, they actually made a little cartoon where the 1968 version of Mickey Mouse meets the original 1928 version. <laughs> He's just a guy who was trapped in a time period where he wasn't able to say much, and that in itself is pretty funny. It could always be worse, guys. It could have been the 1931 knockoff version of Mickey Mouse called Milton Mouse, a character that got the company sued by Disney because it's just a blatant ripoff of him. You're a fascinating baby, such a fascinating baby, and your roly poly eyes look good to me. To make it interesting, Walt Disney didn't actually want any money from the company. He just wanted the ripoff to end because he thought it was damaging the brand of Mickey. Exactly why the Disney company didn't want Mickey Mouse to really become public domain. Now, I'm not saying it should have been secure to just Disney. I believe it is cool that one could actually use Mickey Mouse in an artistic project and perhaps create a really good story that we would not have seen otherwise. But here's the problem. Once it's used for slop, then what was the point? Anyone could have made a parody of Mickey Mouse and it still would have been fair use. None of this transforms anything. This idea of trying to be shocking with Mickey also isn't anything new. Mickey Mouse Goes to Vietnam was released in 1969, and it depicts Mickey getting killed. Somehow this short has more substance as a form of protest towards the Vietnam War than whatever slop we're going to be getting this year having to do with this character. Subscribe and like and happy 2024!